Hello, my name is Antonio Farina and I'm with the technical support team. Are you wondering how to add watermark in MicroStation? Today we're going to see how to do this by two methods, but just know that there are many ways to achieve the same. Let's do this. Note that I have a design model that I have referenced into a ISO A0 sheet model. We proceed to create a new sheet model with the same size. This model will serve to put all these elements that represent the watermark. In the watermark model, I'm just going to place a text with the word watermark. Now we return to our original sheet model and let's reference the watermark model. Make sure to select interactive. In the reference dialog, go to Properties, Adjust Colors, and apply the desired transparency. I'll go for a 70% of transparency. Click in the box Print Adjusted Colors. Click Apply and OK. Once applied, we go to the print dialog and click on the rasterized box. We can see how the transparency is applied in the preview. Now we're ready to print. In some cases, the riser option can change the resolution of some elements in the drawing. If we do not want to use the rasterize option, there is a way to add transparency by means of a design script. In this case, we just need to add the text that will appear as a watermark, without needing to reference. Let's open the wm.peng file with the notepad. You can find this file attached in the wiki. Two variables must be edited in the file. Character. Between quotation marks, the word in text is written exactly the same as the one in the model, as it is case sensitive. Color. The color of the watermark is chosen according to true color definition. Note that these three numbers correspond to these three numbers. So you can preview which color you want to have in the watermark. Now we have both variables edited, and we're ready to save. Note that in the print dialog, we're leaving the rasterize option unchecked. 
We must select the Bentley PDF driver for transparency to be recognized. Now in the design script field, let's browse the pen file and attach it. Now we're ready to create the PDF file. Let's check the results. Know how transparency applied and now we're ready to print. Now go ahead and try it yourself. Many thanks and see you next time. Thank you.